Did you know there are other protocols that have been adapted to run over or incorporate SSH to make them secure? Two of the biggest are Secure Copy and SFTP. Uh, SFCP is the secure version of the CP command, which SCP is the secure copy command, and SFTP or Secure File Transfer Protocol is a secure version of FTP or File Transfer Protocol. I actually did a video on secure copy back in March, so go check that video out if you want to know more. That just leaves us with SFTP. This is B from Taytog Tech, and today I'm going to tell you all about SFTP, so stick with me. I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink myself down here. Let me go ahead and just, I was doing some work on my virtual machine, so let me go ahead and clear this out. And here we go. Let me clear this out. We're going to be using my Debian 12 uh, VM. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, start talking about uh SFTP, just briefly here, a couple facts that I wanted to throw your way. Now, SFTP, like I said, is a secure version of FTP, which is a simply just a simple file server. It allows you to store, upload, and download files from that server. By default, it runs over port 22, but this can be changed in the configuration file. Now, let's go ahead and start configuring our uh, SFTP server here on the Debian machine. And it's going to be the same regardless of your distribution. So. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna do, the first command that we're gonna do is we're gonna do sudo um, group add. Then we're gonna go ahead and create this group. Now, what we're doing with this command is we're creating a user group for all of the SFTP users. All right, let's go ahead and put the password in. All right, perfect. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do sudo user add attack g, and then we're gonna put SFTP, then we're gonna put SFTP a user. All right, so what we're doing here with this user add command is we're gonna create a user, but we're also going to simultaneously add it to the SFTP group. That's what that tag G is for, and the user that we're creating is the SFTP user. All right, and let me go ahead and hit enter here. All right, perfect. All right, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the password of the SFTP user. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use the uh, PASSWD command for, and then we're going to put in the user's name. All right, that's going to go ahead and prompt us to, to create a new password since they don't already have one. Now, the reason that we need to do this is because it's going to be running over SF, S, uh, SSH. So you're going to be logging in very similarly the way that you would for SSH. All right, so we've got that done. So we've got our user created. We've got our group created. Now let's go ahead and create some directories. We're going to do sudo mcdir to create directories. And we're going to do p. And then we're going to go ahead and do sftp. We're going to go ahead and put sftp a user. And then we're going to do files. All right, and basically what this, this is going to do, it's going to create the directory, but it's going to, we're going to use the tac p option, which is going to allow us to create the parent of the directories that we're creating because none of these directories exist yet. So let's go ahead and do that. There is the enter. Now, what we need to do is we need to change the ownership around just a bit of some of these directories that we just created. So we're going to do sudo. We're going to do chion, which is how you change ownership. We're going to do tac capital R, which is going to allow us to recursively change uh, ownership, which will allow us to do it for the, the child directories of these directories. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do going to be the SFTP, and it's going to be the S, and then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're going to do, we're going to make the, we're going to do the owner as root, and then we're going to do colon, then we're going to do SFTP, because we're going to be changing the ownership of these folders, of these directories to root, and then we're going to go ahead and make the owner group SFTP, then we're going to do SFTP, then we're going to go ahead and do SFTP a user, all right, and we're going to go ahead and hit enter, perfect, now we're going to do this again, we're going to do just a little bit differently though. We're going to still put the tac capital R. We're going to, this time though, it's going to be SFTP 
user. And then we're going to go ahead and make this one the same as the previous one, which is going to be SFTP for that group. Then we're going to do uh, SFTP, SFTP user. Then we're going to go ahead and do files as the final directory. Go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. And essentially what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and just make this person the owner of this group, of this directory right here. So now that we've got that done, now we actually have to do the configuration of the uh, SFTP server. So let's go ahead and go to the SSH uh, configuration file, which is going to be sudo. We're going to use vim for this. We're going to do etsy ssh, or it says sshd underscore config. All right, perfect. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where they, with a shift capital G because we're using Vim. And you can use any any text editor that you want. I'm just using Vim because that's what works for me. So the, everything that I'm going to be doing here is going to be in reference to Vim. Now to go to the end of this line, we're going to go ahead and do commit. We're going to go ahead and do um, cur uh, curly brace. It's going to take us to the end. And then what we're going to do is once we're there is we're going to go ahead and hit uh, lowercase o. We're going to go ahead and hit enter because lowercase o will allow you to create a new line underneath the line that you're already on. And it's also going to put you into insert mode. So here what we're going to do is we're going to just put a, we're going to put a hashtag. Then we're going to go ahead and just put a comment here so that we know exactly what it is that we're doing here. Because that's what you always want to do. And that's what the, that's what the hashtags here indicate is that this is a comment. It's not to be read by the, uh, by the, by the, the application. So SFTP configuration. Right, and give me just a second here. Actually, I already got a configuration. All right, perfect. So this is what we're doing here. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're matching a group to the SFTP group. All right, and then uh, that's only going to limit it to the SFTP group. The next thing that we're doing is we're setting up a true root directory. Basically what a true root directory is, it's going to be a jail that the... that the person who's going to be accessing SFTP is going to be able to act uh, is going to be able to utilize. So what we're doing here is we're setting it up as the SFTP directory. And then this, uh, this percent sign lowercase u is going to apply to any of the directories that are underneath that directory. Uh, we want to isolate them in this directory so they don't have access to the, to the host system. This is, this is for security purposes. We're also going to disable X11 forwarding. We're going to disable allow TCP forwarding. Uh, and then we're going to set up the internal SFTP uh, for, through the force command. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to uh, force everything to run through SFTP. Uh, the internal SFTP server is it's one built directly into, into SSH. So it's not like a separate program. It's one that runs in there. So it's just it's a, quite a bit uh, easier to configure uh, and secure and, and things like that. And then, um, yeah, this the, we actually don't need this last command. I accidentally... Ca um, Copy that command in there. So then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit escape and then we'll hit colon WQ. And then we're going to go ahead and hit one. I'm sorry, uh, exclamation point to go ahead and quit and save. Perfect. There we go. Let's clear this out. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to do sudo system CTL. And then we're going to do a restart SSH. All right. Perfect. And we need to restart SSH because we are changing up the configuration file. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and do SFT. Um, we got to go over here. And I think the IP, give me just a second. I got to get the IP address for this. I want to think, I believe it is 22, 227. Okay, cool. Glad I double checked that. So then we're going to go to our home server. We're going to do SFTP. And then we're going to go ahead and do um, SFTP user. And then we're going to go ahead and do at 192.168. Dot one dot two two seven. All right, and we're gonna enter. Perfect. I'm gonna do a yes. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in our password. And voila, there we go. Um, in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to use the SFTP server. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to use. What you can go ahead and do though is you can go ahead and actually just do uh, just type in help. And it will go ahead and give you all of the commands you need to use and tell you it's pretty straightforward. There's not a ton of commands, so it's pretty easy to use. Uh, one of the things that I will show you is I will show you print working directory. It's going to show us as the root of the directory. But if we just do an LS, 
all we can see there is that files directory. So that's that root directory at work. So if we try to do if we try to do a CD to Etsy, it's going to be like no such file or directory. So um, and if we you know even if we try to go to CC CD like root and do that again, it's going to take us to file uh, CD um, you know var. We don't have any access to any of those directories. So that is why we did what we did. Um, SFTP is a great tool if you want a simple, secure file transfer uh, server on your network. Uh, make sure you check out this other video from my channel. Remember, mistakes make you better, so keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video, and have the greatest of days.